Make sure you like and subscribe. Maybe you join my Roblox group. It's linked in the description. And I have no clue when I'm going to be doing a face reveal. Like I'm better off Hello everyone, it's Mimi and today I thought it would be a very good video to show you guys how to do thumbnails on mobile, which I actually have done it about like two times, but I'm actually learning how to do GFXs on computer and yeah, so I'm just learning, I'm learning, I'm finally learning how to do this stuff, like it's actually really hard, so yeah i just know it's very hard i know you guys struggle i know everything so i just wanted to help you guys out with that stuff so why not go ahead and start okay so first you're gonna go ahead and download ibis paint and then once you have ibs paint downloaded you will go into um your uh safari and you will go ahead and search up any type of theme that you want and then once you go into ibis paint where is it okay so once you go into ibis paint you will go to my gallery and then you will click that plus sign and then you will click do not mind these these are just some things that i did with my roleplay family um yeah okay so my gallery plus sign import picture and then after that you will click your YouTube banner size um, I mean YouTube thumbnail size and then you will click that and then it will come out as that size you will just this might pop up for you it might not but normally it does so click the X okay so once you have your YouTube thumbnail size imported you will go here and then you will delete your um, thumbnail so it can just be white and then you will click that little camera icon for your photo library I just realized it has like the little watermark on it but it's fine for now okay so now onto the GFX part to go get your GFX so you will open up your Roblox account and then search up GFX and then go ahead and go into the game and go to a green screen for this one I'm gonna use GFX Studios 2 aesthetic photo shoot poses and props in my opinion it's the best one out there because honestly other ones just don't have a lot and they just don't really work the same they just aren't as helpful in the ways that we need for this video okay so now we will go ahead and walk up to this green screen right here and then you can actually go into photo mode if you want but don't go into photo mode until you're done because it'll take a couple minutes to go out for this one I really like this pose so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna go zoom in a little bit and that okay and there is my pose that I'm going to use for the thumbnail so now you are done with that and you will do the same thing again and click photo mode and then go onto your green screen okay so now we are going to go onto this layer and we're going to click the photo icon and click our photo that we just took inside of the GFX world place I don't know why I keep playing okay instead of the GFX place we did that okay now we have this imported okay so now we click magic wand and then we that basically just like outlines it for you I might do it like a little bit different for you so just keep trying but it will work I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up because it does take a little while Okay everyone, so there's that. So now we are going to go ahead and remove this part. So we're just gonna go ahead and click cut and we're done with that. It has a little bit of green, but this is fine for now. I'll fix it when I want to, if you guys know what I mean, but yeah. Okay, so we just like, we just have it like that. So we're done with this part. Okay, so I actually am done with this part. I moved it over a little bit. I did some things off camera, but yeah. So that's just basically 
what we're doing right now. So we're just gonna save as PNG right now. It's saved to my camera roll. So now we are going to go to Fonto. Go ahead and download the app if you don't already have it. It's P-H-O-N-T-O, Fonto. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. But then you go to photo, photo albums, and then I'm going to do how, and then I'm gonna go to curve, and then I'm gonna go down a little bit right here. And then you can do any color that you want it to be. I'm going to make it like a little bit of a purple color because I really like this color. It's really pretty. How to. And then I'm going to change this color a little bit and then I'm going to make it. And I'm going to make it a little bit like this. And it's kind of like a cursive so I think it's like really cute. And then make a thumbnail. And I'm going to put it like right here on mobile like this is gonna be a little bit small and then this is gonna be a little bit small and then the on okay so then we're gonna go ahead and do the strokes to it because what is a thumbnail without strokes I mean I've seen it not my style okay We're gonna curve this a little bit up. And here is how my thumbnail came out. It obviously will look better on my actual thumbnail. And if you look at my thumbnail right now, I made that with actually the same way I'm making this. I'm just gonna change it. I'm gonna do a different background and all that. But for this thumbnail, I'll be making it this way because I lost, no, I didn't lose it, but like, I don't have my computer today, so. Uh, I am out of town, so I forgot my computer, but anyways, yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, turn on that post notification bell to be notified when I post new videos, and I will see you guys on a new video. I love you guys all, and stay safe during this pandemic and COVID. I will see you guys all next time. Bye!